Can you get jacked by using only dumbbells? Yes, and here is how. This is a 4 day full body training plan, which is the best option for dumbbell only workouts in my opinion. Because dumbbells don't have that much exercise variety to dedicate the whole workout to only a couple of body parts. And before you comment, um, actually, dumbbells have a lot of exercise variation. Let me tell you something. Technically, they do. But the more you move away from the basic exercises, the more bizarre the exercises get and the less effective they are. Like this one. I don't think that you should be doing stuff like this. There is no way that you can ever put enough stress on the pecs with an exercise like this. The biggest plus of this workout is that you can do it with just a pair of dumbbells at the comfort of your own home. And you don't have to waste your time traveling to the gym and paying for the gym membership. But there are also some negatives. Like that there are no good vertical pulling exercises when you are doing dumbbell only workouts. Or that after some time you will simply get so strong that your dumbbells just won't provide enough resistance anymore. But I got a solution for all of those problems, which I'm gonna tell you right now. So what do you do when you can't increase the weight anymore because your dumbbells are maxed out? There are a couple of solutions that you can apply. Either increase the sets or the reps that you are doing or decrease the rest times between the sets. Or you can just increase the difficulty of the exercise that you are doing. For example, when you are doing the squat, you can slightly elevate your heels by putting a small plate on the ground or anything that you can step on. This will make it much more challenging without even going up in weight. And you can also add a pause at the bottom of the movement. Now let's finally talk about the training routine. As I said before, it's a 4 day full body training plan, which consists of workout A and workout B. So the way you can schedule this can be for example like this. Or like this. Or in any other way you find convenient for you. And do you know what else is convenient? Um, that's right, it's my Patreon. If you want to get access to the simplified hub where you can get all the information about bodybuilding in a written form. Or if you want to appear in my videos as a little cartoon character. And you can even get coached by me personally. Link in the description. Thanks. So let's start with the workout A. And before you start the workout, always warm up the most important joints, like shoulders, wrists, knees and hips. You can for example do some bodyweight push-ups and squats, just something to get you ready. It's not rocket science. First exercise is bench press. And if you don't have a bench available, you can just do floor press, which is basically bench press, but you lay on the ground. Or you can put the dumbbells in a backpack and do weighted push-ups. It's up to you what you like the most. 3 sets of 8 to 15 reps. Depending on how heavy your dumbbells are. This is going to apply to all of the exercises in this training plan. Then we move on to the back. Remember when I was saying that dumbbell only workouts like a good vertical pulling exercise? That leaves us with two options. If you have access to a pull up bar, do pull ups. If you can't do pull ups just yet, try negative pull ups. Or use a band or let someone hold your legs. And if you don't have a pull up bar, do pullovers. This is an amazing exercise for the lights and should compensate for the lack of pull ups in your routine. Really try to open your ribcage and focus on stretching your lats. For both of these exercises do 3 sets of 8 to 15 reps. Next up we have shoulders. Here it's pretty simple. Overhead press is your go to. Either sitting or standing. It's up to you what you like more. 3 sets of 8 to 15 reps. We will come back to the shoulders one more time to do some isolation exercises. But now we continue with the biceps. Here it's also really simple. The good old biceps curls. 3 sets of 12 to 20 reps. Now it's time for some isolation exercises. First, we need to focus on the long head of the triceps. So do school crushers or any other overhead extension that you like. 3 sets of 15 to 20 reps. And we follow that up with the shoulder isolation exercises. So do the rear delt flies and lateral raises. For both of these exercises, do 3 sets of 15 to 20 reps. This completes all the exercises for the upper body. The only exercises left are for the legs. First up, we have the front squat. 3 sets of 8 to 15 reps. Really focus on keeping your back straight and go below parallel. Then we move on to the Romanian deadlift. Here the same thing applies. Keep your back straight while also keeping your chest up and pulling your shoulders back. And really try to stretch those hamstrings. 
3 sets of 8 to 15 reps. And the last exercise of this workout is calf raise. Find an elevated surface that you can step on. You can for example use the stairs. Then grab the dumbbells in your hands or you can put them into a backpack and do it that way. Here you should go slowly and really focus on stretching your calves at the top and at the bottom position of the movement. And you can even implement a little pause. 3 sets of 15 to 25 reps. So this was the workout A. Now let's look at the workout B. In this workout we start with shoulders instead of the chest, to emphasize the shoulders a little bit more. The exercise that we will do is the same as before, because it's just the best exercise for the shoulders. So do overhead press, 3 sets of 8 to 15 reps. Next up we have the back. We are still missing a rowing exercise in this routine, so we will do dumbbell rows. Keep your back straight, chest up, shoulders back and really try to pull the dumbbells to your waist. 3 sets of 8 to 15 reps. Now it's finally time for the chest. Because we did a flat pressing movement in the workout A, now we need an incline variation. So if you have an incline bench, you can do the incline bench press. If you don't have an incline bench press, don't worry. Instead you can do a decline push up with your feet elevated. This will hit your upper chest, so it's a perfect replacement. Start with body weight and after you get stronger you can put your dumbbells in a backpack and overload that way. 3 sets of 8 to 15 reps. And after that we have the biceps. Because we did a normal dumbbell curl in the previous workout, now we need a variation that focuses on the brachialis and brachioradialis. So we will do hammer curls. 3 sets of 12 to 20 reps. Then we move on to the isolation exercises. First up is triceps. It would be great to have a movement that is similar to the triceps pushdown. So we will do triceps kickbacks. 3 sets of 15 to 20 reps. Then we have the shoulder isolation exercises once again. So do the rear delt flies and lateral raises. 3 sets of 15 to 20 reps for each exercise. Now we can start with the leg exercises. First up we have lunges. Really try to do long steps so you can get as big of a stretch as possible. 3 sets of 12 to 15 reps for each leg. After that we will do front squats again. You can pretty much do any squat variation you like. It's up to you what you prefer. 3 sets of 8 to 15 reps. And to finish off this workout we have calf raises once again. 3 sets of 15 to 25 reps. So this was the workout B. Now let me tell you what you can do if you are really short on time and you want to get this workout done in a little bit more time efficient manner. It's called antagonist training. No, you are not training to become the Joker. What this actually means is that you will be doing two exercises back to back with minimal rest in between. But every one of those exercises needs to focus on the opposite part of your body. So for example, you can do an exercise for the chest and immediately follow it up with an exercise for the back. Or you can do an exercise for the legs and then go for a shoulder focused exercise right after that. You can pretty much match the exercises however you want. You just want to make sure that the two exercises don't interfere with each other. So for example, you shouldn't combine back and biceps, because the back exercises also use biceps and that would negatively impact your biceps exercise afterwards. By applying this method you can really save a lot of time. And you should also keep in mind that to get the most out of this training plan you need to consume enough protein, get a good night's sleep and apply progressive overload. That's all you need to do to get jacked. It's simple as that. And a big shout out to all the wonderful people who are supporting me on Patreon. Thanks. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.